it's an absolutely beautiful day and I'm starting to see where all of the buttercups and various bulbs maybe they're all buttercups I don't know are popping up take a look So, not to feel completely like I didn't get anything accomplished, I'm gonna go get the two indoor plants that must be potted up and get that done. Okay. Man, I hope those are gonna be big enough. Wow. And they're bigger than the ones they're in, but they're not that big. Let's see. Wow. I guess that's good enough for the time being. They didn't seem to have a pot between this and this size. hard to find a pot. Wow. I've looked three or four times. I like these pots because they're made in the United States, first of all. Made in USA. And they're self-watering, so you can just uh, put your little, your small little pitcher, pour from here, and the roots take up the moisture for an extended period because of the way it's made. Okay, this is not the <laughs> appropriate tool, but it actually works pretty well because it's curved, uh, but you can easily cut a hole through a pot with this, and I've done that. But I'm just uh, gently going around to loosen this from the sides because this plant is super packed into this container. so much so I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> no idea. Oh good. Comes right out. Okay, I'm just gonna put some organic container potting mix in the bottom. Not too much because it's gonna need all the space to sit in there. See, only about an inch or so. And I'm going to take all three of these plants. I could divide these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think that just happened without my wanting it to. I think this plant just divided itself. Oh my gosh. They are, you know what? They put three plants in that pot because look, they just come out individually. Well, you know what? I need to put more soil in the bottom. Since that happened, they had evidently just potted that up to sell it. But I'm gonna put the three in there, not split them up right now. I'll wait about six months, because I've got a lot of plants in my house. Almost. Okay. Kind of arrange it the way they had it because the plant was happy that way. I'm going to put a mixture of my amendments in here. comes right out. It's sort of like a flower arrangement in a vase. They had it that way. Okay. This 
one's a little more stuck. Okay. This is a bromeliad. Stunningly beautiful. First one I've ever had. I'm gonna top it off with the soil that it was in because it seemed pretty happy. <laughs> oh, this is funny. They've got something in the bottom here to lift it up, just like you would in a flower arrangement. So they would use less soil. Now believe me, I looked for other colors besides black, but I don't have a whole lot of options around here. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. You really have to stand back. I may put a little water on top of it because that soil's pretty dry, and then I'm gonna water the well in the bottom as well. All right, let's move on. Ugh. This is a peace lily, a variegata, and it's, it was in a pot, in a nursery pot inside of another pot. So this is probably not gonna be as easy to get off. Just cut it. All right, try loosening it. All right, let's see if that'll work. Uh, also, I need to cut the flower. This flower lasted literally a month. It was stunning. This is actually my first peace lily. And I've just so enjoyed having that luscious green in my house. Wow, these roots are really bound up, especially around the top. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Check that out. This one's desperate to get out of here. And you know what? It's probably crazy to put that in that little pot because it's going to be big before you know it. Bigger. Since those roots were not developed, I've got a little time, but not with this one. I'm moving up. I wanted a much prettier pot for my indoors, but uh, I just couldn't find it. Looked online numerous times. Now these roots can get happy. What I'm going to do is loosen them.
which usually results in uh, breaking a bunch of them. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Fortunately, I think it, it works, don't you? Oh, and you know what? I just saw another bloom coming. Fantastic. I just hope I have enough potting soil here. Not in this bag. I need quite a bit more. So, I gotta go find some. Actually, it works pretty good to use the cart. The ridges in the bed of it kind of are challenging. If the pot is smaller, it slips off the ridges. But this big pot, I'm managing it pretty well. A lot of this stuff to fill up a big pot like that. Just keep that in mind when you think about having big house plants. And this is a very lightweight pot. If you use a clay pot in the house, it's going to be, you're going to have to have help moving it. I've never had a house plant this large. I hope I got that centered. I'm moving it now. Get a rag and clean it up. Oh, and I'll lug them inside. I'll use the flower. And you think, oh shoot, it only has one flower, but I'm telling you. That one flower brings you so much joy. It is so powerful. Don't water your big plants before you try to move them.
So things are coming together piece by piece and there's so much more to do. I have a very long list and I was supposed to have seeded tomatoes and peppers three days ago. That hasn't been done. So I'm late again. But anyway, I hope you enjoy my journey. And if you're a late bloomer like me, I hope you'll subscribe and tell your friends about this fun channel that you watch. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.